mother! Oh, how's about maybe a thanks for saving you from what appears to be, I don't know, some kind of sci-fi sideburn dimension? Thank you? You really think I'm gonna thank you after what you did 30 years ago? Hi, Mabel here. Quick question. What the heck is going on here? Stan, you didn't tell me there were children down here. And some sort of large... Greetings. Do kids still say greetings? I haven't been in this dimension for a really long time. Whoa, a six-fingered handshake. It's a full finger friendlier than normal. <laughs> them, I've lived them. I've been waiting for so long to meet you. I, I don't know what to say. I have so many questions. I, <sighs> oh, I think I'm going to throw up. No, no. No, just us. Also, maybe the entire U.S. government. The what? Fan a six-fingered handshake? It's a full finger friendlier than normal. <laughs> them, I've lived them! I've been waiting for so long to meet you, I, I don't know what to say. I have so many questions, I... <sighs> oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. <clears throat> no, no. No, just us. Also, maybe the entire U.S. government. The what? Fan out, we're not going anywhere till we find Stan Pines and those kids. Who wants to tell us their entire mysterious backstory? Yes, I have some questions about all this myself, Stanley. Stanley? But your name is Stanford. Right. And what happened between you and your brother? I'm hoping all this aligns exactly with my fanfic, Stan. If not, I will be very disappointed. Okay, okay, okay. I know I have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, in the lead paint district of the family pod shop, Dad was a strict man. Tough as a cinder block and not easily impressed. I'm not impressed. Mom was a pathological liar, as if his abnormally high IQ wasn't enough. He also had a rare birth defect, six fingers on each hand, which might have explained his obsession with sci-fi mystery weirdness. Today we'd wander the beach looking for adventure. Whoa. A shipwreck sailboat. You know what this thing's missing? Flags. Kings of New Jersey! Kings of New Jersey! Kings of New Jersey! <laughs> you would know, Cram Pelter! Get lost! Listen, dorks, and listen good. You're a six-fingered freak, and you're just a dumber, sweatier version of him. Hey, don't let those idiots get to you. But I am a freak. I just wonder if there's anywhere in the world where weirdos like me fit in. Team of Adventurers. You really mean it? Hi, Six. Hi, Six. Those were the good times. Those bullies may have been right about us not making many brains seem to get more impressive every year. So did our pet project. Sure, I got in more than my fair share of trouble. But when your brother's the smartest kid in school, you've always got a leg up on the competition. Office. Pine swings to the principal's office. Ah, great. What is it this time? Not you. Him. Nah. You have two sons. One of them is incredibly gifted. The other one is standing outside this room and his name's Stanley. What are you saying? I'm saying your son Stanford is a genius. The admissions team is visiting tomorrow to check out Stanford's experiment. Your son may be a future millionaire, Mr. Pines. I'm impressed. But what about our little free spirit Stanley? But hey, look on the bright side. At least you'll have one son here in New Jersey forever. Joke's on them if they think you want to go to some stuffy college on the other side of the country. Edge programs and multidimensional paradigm theory. Beep boop, I am a nerd robot. That's you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> without Ford, I was just half of a dynamic duo. I couldn't make it out there without him. And now, thanks to that dumb college... <clears throat> there, all right. Good as new, probably. It was stable yesterday. A uh, fuse must have blown or something. Kid, a perpetual motion machine has one job, to not stop. One paddle, 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 two paddle, paddle. Man, that Jackie-O, what a fuss. Hey, what's the word, Sixer? Can you explain what this was doing next to my broken project? Look, it was a mistake. Although, if you think about it, maybe there's a silver lining. Huh? Treasure hunting? Are you kidding me? Why would I want to do anything with- Blaine, it was a mistake. You ignoramus. Your brother was going to be our ticket out of this dump. All you ever do is lie and cheat and ride on your brother's coattails. Stanford? Don't leave me hanging. Hi, Six? Fine. No brother, no home, no nothing. But I had a plan to fix everything. Ah! Oh, the story's so sad! Hug up, Palooza! 2,000! Kid, we 
you knock that off? I'm trying to tell my life story here. I had decided I wasn't gonna show my face at home till I proved I could make something of myself. I'm Stan Pines of Stanco Enterprises. Are you sick of this always happening to you? Then you need the chamois of the future. Unfortunately, so did the chamois. Apparently, the cheap dye I used to color them only made stains worse. Customers weren't crazy about that. But luckily, they were chasing me with Stanco brand pitchfork. Are you sick of bandages that are hard to remove? Then what you need is the ripoff. The ripoff won't give you rashes. I repeat, it won't give you rashes. Would be my big break. Whoa, so that explains all the fake IDs. But wait, what about you? Did you end up going to your dream school? I'm sure your families are proud, more or less. In a place like that, I had to work twice as hard. Luckily, that's what I do best. I went from undergrad to PhDs for my six fingers. But that got me thinking about anomalies. Things that were odd, unusual, statistically improbable. And according to my investigations... Meanwhile, your old Uncle Stan was doing great. I'd come up with a sophisticated new business strategy. Come on, Owl. Need help from nobody. Hello, this is Stanford Pines. But what would I find here? Bingo. I began to investigate at once. I knew I'd have to record... <laughs> Sorry, sorry, just uh, <clears throat> got excited there about the journals. Keep, keep talking. I began to keep a journal. Only a place where I felt at home. But something nagged at me. Where did it all come from? It seemed to me the answer must lie outside of our world. A dimension of weirdness leaking into our Fiddleford McGucket, a young but brilliant mechanic who was wasting his talent trying to make personal computers in some garage in Palo Alto. In the machine. It would be the crowning achievement of my studies. An answer to the source of this town's anomaly. Get out, get out, get out! Ah! What? When gravity falls and Earth becomes sky, fear the beast with just one eye. Fiddleford, get a hold of yourself. You're not making any sense. This machine is dangerous. You'll bring about the end of the world with this. Fine. I'll do it without you. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. What? Who said that? Just give me a few more days, Rico. I'll pay your goons back, I swear. You haven't seen your brother in over 10 years. It's okay. He's family. He won't bite. Stanley, did anyone follow you? Anyone at all? Uh, hello to you too, pal. Ah! Ah, hey! You're acting like mom after a 10th cup of coffee. Listen, there isn't much time. I've made huge mistakes, and I don't know who I can trust anymore. Hey, <laughs> Easy there. Let's talk this through, okay? It's a transuniversal gateway. A punched hole through a weak spot in our dimension. I created it to unlock the mysteries of the universe. But it could just as easily be harnessed for terrible destruction. Remember our plans to sail around the world on a boat? Take this book, get on a boat, and sail as far away as you can. And it's to tell me to get as far away from you as possible? Stanley, you don't understand what I'm up against, what I've been through. No, no, you don't understand what I've been through. I've been to prison in three different countries, selfishly hoarding your college money because you only care about yourself. I'm selfish? I'm selfish? Stanley, how can you say that after costing me my dream school? You don't understand. You said you wanted me to have it, so I'll do what I want with it. My research! <laughs> Stanley, give it back! You ruined your own life! Stanley! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! Are you all- Ow! Whoa, whoa, hey, what's whoa, going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, Stanford! Uh, uh, Stanley! Stanley, help me! Oh no, what do I do? Stanley! Stanley! Do something! I just got him back! I can't lose him again! Ah, uh, come on! Stanford! 
I didn't get much sleep that night. Or the night after that. I had no choice but to go into town. Just the bread then there, stranger? That'll be 99 cents. But the wrong guy. I've heard strange stories about that old shack. Yeah, mysterious lights and spooky experiments. Gosh, I'd pay anything to see what kind of shenanigans you get.